Hi guys, Matthew for TechShock here. After being tired of typing in IP addresses into my search bar when I tried to bring up the services in my home lab, I decided to finally set up a home page and dashboard to access all my services and kind of get a one-stop place to access a lot of things in my lab, especially after going to two servers. And I settled on Homepage by Ben Feltz, which is an amazing program that allows me to put all my services in one place and access them in a timely manner when I open a new tab in my web browser. Today, we're going to take a look at Homepage and all the customizations it allows with widgets and APIs that let you kind of take services from other parts of your lab into one central place. Homepage is a modern, secure, highly customizable application dashboard with integrations for more than 25 services and translations for over 50 languages, easily configured via YAML files. What makes Homepage special is its direct Docker integration for container status and service discovery, and service integration with API for automatic readouts from services running on your servers such as Plex, Radar, Sonar, Pi-hole, and many more. Homepage also has information provided by your main host and the ability to add weather readout and a search bar while also theming it to your liking with 21 themes to choose from. Homepage is also completely open source with over 75 contributors and an open GitHub page where you can easily contribute to the project. Now that we've gone over how Homepage works, let's go into installing and running it on my server. For me, Homepage was available on the apps page of my Unraid server, but it can be efficiently run and configured on any Docker install with the steps listed on the GitHub page. Homepage has an amazingly detailed wiki that helped me through the initial install and figuring out the service. I'll be going over it more later in the video. Please note, you may have to type some commands into your Unraid console to be able to edit the homepage files, like I did. Let's look at Homepage's Services tab where you can directly enter in services that you host in your lab and want to access. I started off with Plex by adding its name, icon, and description, then also adding Tatuli as a widget so I can gather API calls from the service. I had some initial trouble getting the services up and working. Just make sure that your API keys are valid and that you type in the website correctly to the syntax listed on the wiki. Homepage works directly with API keys provided as widgets to use on your homepage as an updating source for information. This means that instead of having to go into Tatuli directly, I can see the strings pop up on my homepage whenever I open a new tab in my browser. Adding the rest of my services, including my Sonar Radar stack, which helps me keep track of my series, and also my Minecraft server console and disk dis speed disk tester, was a breeze as I was able to add icons to them because of the nice set of default icons you can find on their GitHub page that comes with their service, which means I was also able to apply icons to services without having to add them in myself, but that is also an option you can do in the settings. Now that we finished the services section of my home lab, we can move into the bookmark section, which allows you to mark websites for e easy access when you need to go to specific sites. I did a direct link to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, and also added Twitter and Reddit as some of the sites I frequent the most. Link to my socials down below. Now, while I've showed you how to add services and bookmarks to the homepage, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The wiki provides an extensive list of other widgets available to use, such as date and time, weather, greeting, and other fantastic options that truly make your homepage your own. As always, links are provided down below to the wiki, and I urge all of you to look at it when setting up a homepage yourself. Once I was done with my homepage, I went into Chrome settings and set it as a custom homepage I could easily get into, and now that I have a nice homepage, this easily gives access to parts of my servers and I can even change it and upgrade it as my needs grow. Now that we've gone over our homepage, let me know what you would run on your homepage in your own lab. Remember, links are down below to the wiki and general GitHub page so you can install homepage for yourself. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to smash that algorithm, and I hope you have a nice day. Remember, your feedback is always greatly appreciated.